feeling? So I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm ready for this. You know, excited to go play. What's it been like playing the national schedule for you? Yeah, uh, playing the national schedule, you know, uh, my whole career, my high school career so far, I've been playing a uh, national schedule. So uh, I've been playing with a lot of talented players, uh, playing against the top talent. So it's just, it's just you know, another day uh, playing, exactly. playing good comp. So you know, Dusty and Caleb, they're, they're a year older than you. What, yeah. what have you learned from playing with those guys? Yeah, uh, I learned a lot uh, playing with them. You know, uh, D uh, Caleb, uh, I went to Oak Hill with him and then uh, – Got him to come here, uh, and he's teaching me so much uh, how to be a guard and thus uh, teaching me things on the on the shooting side and stuff and on defense. So you know it's just it's great playing with both of these uh, talented players. Right, right. Big yeah. game like this, you have any pre-game rituals or things you do to like keep you like you know mellow or calm? Uh, not really. No, four games. I don't like to I don't like to let it get to me. Uh, whatever the the atmosphere is or whatever. So I just like to hang out with my guys. Uh, try not to let myself get too serious because that's when I find myself, you know, thinking about it too much or doing too much on the court. So I just like to, you know, just be be who I am and then, but keep keep it professional too at the same time. Yeah. Looking on Instagram and seeing you do an NIL deal with Reebok, mm -hmm. just talk to us a little bit about the process and like how how it came about. Yeah. So uh, Reebok, uh, they reached out and then. Uh, you know, NIL deals uh, with the new new rules and stuff. So California, you're allowed to do it. Uh, they came, they reached out to my team, and then you know, just went from there. Uh, I was interested, and they're interested. So I thought it'd be something cool to do, being a high school athlete doing that. How has it been working with Reebok? Uh, it's been it's been an experience for sure. Uh, they had greats go through that uh, go through that uh, clothing line. So like AI and guys like that. So it's cool. I'm, Hopefully one day, you know, I'll be the next, get my signature shoe or something. So we'll just see uh, right now in the high school level, just partnering up with them is, is big for me. So you're a junior, mm -hmm. they're seniors. So we'll be coming back next year. What, yeah. type, of, what type of statement do you want to make right now, you know, as far as like, you know, what you'll be, what's, what's to come next year? Yeah, uh, for next year, for sure. Uh, you know, we just, we just, this, we worry about this year right now. Uh, Want to win the state championship? Uh, all the guys who are here, you know, we have a very talented team. So we just want to do what we can right now. Uh, get this, get this win tonight, and then go on uh, to win state. Facts. Your father, he's like an icon, mm -hmm. a legend in our culture. Like, mm -hmm. What advice or pointers has he given you, you know, in your journey? Mm -hmm. uh, my dad, you know, he always teaches me uh, not to forget where you came from. Uh, stay true to yourself and just. Keep working hard and make sure you put the man up above first. So those are some principles he instilled in me, uh, and that's what you know pushing me to keep going every day and help me come so far along in my journey. Yeah. Does so playing in a game like tonight, obviously big game, big atmosphere, mm -hmm. does that make a difference in your preparation and execution? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, paying attention to details, uh, going against a lot of talented guys on the floor, so you. You can't take no plays off. Uh, you gotta, you know, do it. Uh, go hard every every play and just just lock in. Uh, with that, you will be playing Brian, who's the All American, mm -hmm. uh, the All American uh, team guy. Mm -hmm. Announced this week. Is mm -hmm. that a goal of yours uh, next season? Yeah, uh, you know that's always that's always a goal for all the kids around. Uh, make McDonald's, all these types of games. So uh, just seeing, I've seen a lot of greatness around me. So I just, you know, want to be one of those next people to, to achieve that. So what do you look forward to most playing in this game tonight? Uh, I just look forward to proving myself as uh, one of the top players in the country, but also uh, helping my team win this game, you know. Uh, we're, we're going to, we're trying to win a state championship, so with this win tonight, that'd be very big and uh, helping us. So doing what I can to be a leader on the floor and a winner at the same time. What, type, what types of music do you listen to? Uh, for a game? Because you're pretty much well-traveled. Like yeah. Louisiana, yeah. LA, Minnesota, Oak Hill, so yeah. you've been all over. So you like the gumbo. So like, what do you listen to? Uh, top three artists. Top three artists? I say before a game, I listen to some young boy, like King Von, mm -hmm. uh, some Drake. It just depends. It depends on the, the vibe I'm going for. 
But recently I've been listening to brown noise. Just some some noise just block out my thoughts and just, just think. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, what inspires you at this point? Cause it's just like you know, you pretty much seen it all and did it all. Yeah, uh, I'm not there yet, so I'm not I'm not where I want to be, mm-hmm. uh, where I know I could be in the future if I just put my mind to it and keep working hard. So, uh, with the ultimate goal of being a pro and being one of the best of all time, uh, that's something I'm gonna keep pushing, keep using to push myself, uh, work every day to get get there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so the first thing you play with Chet, right? Yeah. Like, what was it like? You know, what, what was it like playing with Chet? What was it like playing in Minnesota? Not a lot of people don't wouldn't even. You know, yeah, know. like, I mean, he was he was the number one player in the country. So not every day, you know, a freshman uh, <laughs> get to play against the number one player in the country. So I felt, you know, that definitely uh, made me a, a way better player. Uh, just seeing a seven foot guard like that just right. do what he does. He's definitely a unicorn, so like right. just playing against him every day. Uh, he, the year before, when I was in eighth grade, playing varsity, played against Jalen Suggs every day. Mm. So playing a lot of top guys, you know, guys who are pros, uh, it's just pushing me and making me better. Do you feel like playing with those older guys forced you to mature early? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, as a freshman, I started on uh, one of the top teams in the country, and then we ended up winning the state championship. So uh, being the starting guard as a freshman, you know, with with the number one player on the team, uh, yeah. So. So you guys beat Sierra Canyon mm-hmm. in Minnesota. Uh, uh, do you, uh, now you guys play again. You yeah. Think they're gonna remember you from that, or is you Bronny? Is it, is it? Uh, I mean that game, I was I wasn't playing. I was you know I was young, so I was in eighth grade, so I was uh yeah, so I didn't I didn't play, but you know it's all you know it's all competition at the end of the day. Uh, I just want to go out there and compete. Uh, do what I love to do, and that's play basketball. So I'm going to do that every day. Thanks so much for your time. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Yes, sir.